Title, Rhythmic Legend Teresa Taylor Rocks the Great Gig in the Sky at 60. TL, DR. Percussion powerhouse and occasional movie star, Teresa Taylor, once the driving beat of indie rockers butthole surfers, sadly succumbs to lung disease at 60. She left an unforgettable legacy, both in music and on screen, with a memorable performance in the 1990 film Slacker, all while donning the peculiar stage name, Teresa Nervosa. In a melancholic cadence that strikes every indie rock lover's heart, we mourn the loss of Teresa Taylor, the brilliant drummer of the band Butthole Surfers, who has sadly played her final beat. Born in Arlington, Texas, and most famously known under her stage persona Teresa Nervosa, this icon passed away after a fierce battle with lung disease. Her rhythm, though, will resonate eternally in the heartbeats of her fans and bandmates. Taylor's percussive prowess began in her high school marching band, where she drummed side by side with King Coffee. The duo later teamed up to lend Butthole Surfers its unique sonic fingerprint. Their synchronized, standing up performances provided a distinct spectacle that helped to shape the early sound and style of the band. Talk about setting the stage on fire, huh? However, this rhythmic roadshow faced an unfortunate halt when Taylor suffered seizures triggered by a brain aneurysm. She left the band in 1989, eventually undergoing brain surgery in 1993. But like any true rock star, she made a comeback for some tour, dates in 2009, reminding us all that rock and roll never dies. On a different note, pun absolutely intended, who can forget her noteworthy performance in the 1990 film Slacker? Taylor nailed her role as a quirky pusher trying to sell a peculiar Madonna souvenir. Do you remember what that was? That's right, folks. It was a jar she claimed contained a pap smear from the pop diva herself. How's that for a collector's item? Despite Taylor's fear that she might have humiliated herself so publicly after her scene, she not only stole the show but also featured on the movie's poster and home video packaging. Talk about turning lemons into lemonade, right? Although she wasn't recognized often in public for her on-screen performance, her outbursts could lead to the occasional, are you the chick from Slacker? Well, she was certainly more than just the chick from Slacker, she was a drumming deity, an indie rock inspiration, and a memorable Slacker actor. As we bid farewell to this remarkable artist, we're left with a pressing question, in a world dominated by auto-tuned pop hits and mainstream melodies, how will we keep the spirit of raw, real, and revolutionary music? like that of Teresa Taylor's, alive. What do you think, folks? How can we ensure that the unique beat of indie rock continues to pound powerfully in the face of music's ongoing evolution? Sound off in the comments below. Disclaimer, this article is for informational purposes only and does not provide any sort of investment or health advice.